This instructional video is aimed at assisting Year 9 students with their subject selection and pathway planning for Year 10 and beyond. It's important that you work through this form with your parents to make sure that you are selecting the subjects that will best suit your desired pathway. If you do not yet know what you would like to do in the future, please select a broad range of subjects to keep your options open. For the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to fill in this form as we go through it. So the first question I'm required to, to answer is my family name. I type in my first name and then I need to put in my 2020 advisory group. It's important that you complete this with your parent or your carer. In regards to pathway planning, it is important that when selecting subjects for Year 10, that students select subjects with their future pathway in mind. In Year 10, students should begin to focus their subject choices on those that will be best set them up for their VCE, VET, VCAL courses at Bendigo Senior Secondary College. The next series of questions require you to develop a three-year plan in order to best select your Year 10 subjects. You are not required to stick to it over the next three years as you may change your mind for your future career pathway, but it is important to think about what types of subjects you might select. In this form, you'll be planning what subjects you would like to do in Year 11 and Year 12 first. This will then assist you with making choices for Year 10. For further information regarding the subjects offered at Bendigo Senior Secondary College, please refer to their course guide and I've provided the link there for you. Remember when selecting a Year 10 course, choose subjects that you are interested in and are good at. You may also wish to choose a subject that you have never done before in order to try it out. To explain the different programs that are offered at Bendigo Senior Secondary College, firstly there is the VCE or the Victorian Certificate of Education and this is the most common certificate selected by students in their senior years. It provides a pathway to university, TAFE or the workforce. The VCAL program or the Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning is an equivalent Year 12 qualification and is suited to students with a clear vocational pathway or for those who prefer hands-on project-based learning. VCAL provides a pathway to TAFE or to work. VET, vocational education and training subjects can be selected as part of your VCE program but must be included if you choose a VCAL program at intermediate or senior levels at Bendigo Senior Secondary College. This is not required for the Year 10 Foundation VCAL program that will be offered at Crusoe College in 2021. To provide you with some focus, we are asking what is your current chosen career pathway? For the purpose of this form, I'm going to type in nursing. The first lot of subjects here relate to the Year 11 program that I will need to do at Bendigo Senior Secondary College. Typically students select five subjects at Year 11, so I'm going to select five subjects now. A VCAL course is not suitable for what I would like to do for nursing, so therefore I need to select five from below that VCAL Intermediate Certificate box. I'm going to select Standard English. I've done my homework and I know that I need to have a Maths at Year 11 and at Year 12 level for nursing, so I'm going to choose General Maths. I then have three other subjects to choose and I'm going to choose subjects that are related to nursing and to my course. Another prerequisite for the nursing course that I would like to do is a science. So I'm going to choose biology. I think that health and human development will help me a lot with my nursing degree and my interest in nursing and I'm also going to choose psychology. They are my five subjects that I've now selected for year 11. As I said, you are not committed to doing these subjects that you select here for Year 11 and Year 12. You may change them. I now need to select my Year 12 program and it's important to realise that many of those subjects that you choose in Year 11 will follow through into Year 12. There are a lot of Year 12 subjects that you cannot do without having done the Year 11 subject first. I did Standard English in Year 11 so therefore I'm going to select Standard English in Year 12. I selected General Maths in Year 11 and the pathway for General Maths is then Further Maths for Year 12. I still need another three subjects and, I'm going, and I need my Science subject for Year 12 so that's going to be my Biology. I'm going to choose Health and Human Development 3, 4 
and therefore I'm going to also choose psychology. So that's my VCE planning done. And this should now help me focus with my planning for year 10. For students who are interested in fast tracking their VCE VET or VCOL program whilst in year 10, you may select one of the subjects here. This is not compulsory. If you are interested in the Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning at foundation level at Crusoe College for Year 10, all you need to do is select that box. If you are interested in fast tracking one of your VCE subjects, such as Health and Human Development or Biology, for example, you need to select one. It's important that you only select one option here. Now, because I've selected that I want to fast track my VCE Health and Human Development here, I am going to go back up to the Year 11 program because I've got Health and Human Development selected here. So I'm going to take that off and I might actually pick a subject that I'm interested in, <coughs> such as 20th Century History. I'll scroll back down. It's important now to choose your Year 10 core subjects. To best, best prepare for your current chosen career pathway, you need to choose one English and one Maths only, and two from Science and two from Humanities. So for example, I'm going to choose Year 10 Standard English as compulsory. I'm going to choose Year 10 Advanced Maths to give me the best opportunities to learn a higher level of maths so that I'm prepared for Bendigo Senior. And then for my science, I'm going to choose General Science in Semester 1 and follow that up with pre-VCE biology in semester two. As I said before, I'm interested in humanities, so I'm going to select history, and I'm also going to select business world. Now for some important information regarding elective subjects. Please note the following restrictions when selecting your electives for each semester. PE subjects. Students can select no more than two PE subjects per semester. The following subjects cannot be repeated if you have already done them in Year 9. Forensic Science, Astronomy and Natural Disasters. 20th Century Conflict, formerly known as Tyrants, Dictators and the Cold War. Animation, Game Maker or Digital Technologies. Cafe Foods, Food Technology, Baking or International Foods. Skate Deck, Mechatronics, Automotive. And Building for Schools and Advanced Communities can only be repeated once across Year 9 and Year 10. I'm now going to select my semester one subject selections. Because I've chosen a VCE at year 10, I only need to select three electives. I will still need to select two backup subjects just in case one of my other subjects doesn't run. So what I'm going to choose, I'll look down here and I am going to choose as my first preference research science because I'm interested in scientific, scientific methodology. I'm going to pick a PE. Because I enjoy history, I'm going to pick history as my third preference. Now I'm not required to pick a fourth preference because I already have a VCE subject, but I do need to pick two backup subjects. So I'm going to pick up um, English creative writing, and then I'm going to pick photography. In semester two, it's a similar sort of situation. This time though, I'm going to pick English language. I would like to pick girls rule and match fit. So I can pick no more than two PEs. I don't need to have a fourth elective because I'm, I've already got my VCE subject, but I would like to do the school magazine, classy publications, if one of my other subjects doesn't run, and I might do some baking if one of my other subjects doesn't run. If you have any questions about the process, you can type your questions in here, and once you have done that, click on Submit.